What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Baby Jonathan here. Welcome to the latest edition of the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast Show. And in today's show, I'm going to be talking about the Lakers win 120 to 91. My thoughts about Anthony Davis' performance tonight, dominating performance tonight, and LeBron and the rest of the team. Um, my thoughts about the game, love the intensity in the second half, but in the first half, we played with, we didn't play really well. Our offense was stagnant. I know Anthony Davis had like 16 points in the first quarter, but just the flow of the offense, we were letting Memphis get wherever they wanted. The three layups, everything, we just seemed un, uninspired in the first quarter, and then in the second quarter, AD, that's when AD went to work. AD <clears throat> ended at halftime had 20 points, 10 rebounds. His just ability to get to a spot, post up, fade away, left-handed, right-handed, pick and pop, step back, shoot three. He's the most efficiency big man in the game. I don't care what anybody says. He's the most efficiency when it comes to blocking shots, scoring, rebounding, and shooting. Love his game. Love his ability to get to the rim, block shots, run the floor. He had a great game defensively. He was just on there talking, blocking shots. Just loved what he did tonight. I love what AD did tonight. He had an historic night. The f the first 40 and 20 game since Shaquille O'Neal. First big man since Shaquille O'Neal with 40 points, 20 rebounds. Easy. Barbecue chicken, like Shaq always says, man. Anthony Davis, man. Dominate tonight. Love his game. Um, his post up is unbelievable. LeBron and AD. Combined it with 68 points combined between those two. And then the others stepped up too. KCP had 13 points. Avery Bradley had 11. Um, Alex Caruso had 8. It's just the team effort tonight, man. Quinn Cook had another 9 points. And then Danny Green had 8 points. He just, this team, man, has that championship mindset. You know why? First half, they were struggling. Weren't, they weren't clicking. They weren't, like, they were seem off. And then, boom. They turned on the switch because there was a play in the second half that kind of changed the game for Leggers. JaVel McGee flagrant fouled Jonas Valanciunas. And then another play happened when Dwight Howard fouled Grayson Allen. Two, two flagrant fouls. And then Lakers came out the next possession, guarded Grayson Allen, turned the ball over. Danny Green threw a lob to AD, sparked, sparked that run. The Lakers ended the third quarter on a 23-0. Nine run. Our defense in the second half, man, talking, deflecting the passing lane, rotating, taking charges. That's championship defense right there. That's championship defense. I know this game is against Memphis, and I know I understand that. But Lakers needed to this win, man. Three and one. To end, when Lakers win this game and the three and one on the season, man. Really looking that our defense is playing really great. The second half for us is our best bet because I know it's, it's been happening. First half, Lakers not playing so well. The second half, and then that's when Lakers want to turn the switch and run and gun, shoot the three. Danny Green shooting threes. Troy Daniels, Jarrett Dudley, JaVale McGee blocking shots, running the floor. If we can put a complete game together, Lakers are going to be scary, which they already are, but they're going to be more scary when Kuzma gets back. Ronald gets back. Kuzma might play Friday against Dallas or on Sunday versus Spurs. I think he should come back Friday to get the rhythm going. He's 100% in my opinion because um, somebody, the reporter on Yahoo, Shams, Sham Amico, said that Kuzma's 100% but he's not in game shape yet. So hopefully he plays Friday. Be really good for him to come off the bench, score the ball, shoot the three, rebound, post up. You know what I mean? He's... <laughs> If he can average 15 points with this Laker team, with AD, with LeBron, man, this Laker team is special, man. And I just want to give a thank you to the New Orleans Pelicans for giving us Anthony Davis. Thank you, Pelicans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking... Thank you for trading with us. I appreciate you. Um, and, and all those Laker fans that missed Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart were saying that Lakers gave up too much. Crickets, you feel me? Crickets, because if you're telling me that you want Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart over AD, AD put up 40 and 20 tonight. He's averaging 28 points and 12 rebounds for the first four games. 28 and 12. That's unbelievable. 
he's the best power forward in the game. Like, his ability, like I'm telling you, Anthony Davis is a monster when he gets the ball in the post. When you put the ball in the post, it's the most dominant thing in the game right now. I know Joel Embiid has this thing. I know there's certain centers, the Joker from Denver. But AD, AD, Anthony Davis, the best power forward in the game and the best efficiency big man in the game. I don't care what anybody says. Anthony Davis is dominant tonight, man. And also, LeBron kind of stepped up in the second half, too, with his scoring ability as well. His assist, he had seven, seven assists, 23 points. So, it's, he's around his average. You know what I mean? This team this team right here is a championship contending team. And I said it on my podcast the first game of the season, Laker Nation. I said it on my podcast the first, first, first Laker game when we lost to the Clippers. You know what I said? Maybe this Laker, or this losing to the Clippers is a good thing. And ever since that, ever since that loss against Clippers, Laker Nation, we've been playing well. We've been more engaged. We've been, we've just been more open to do the little things to try to win. So that Clipper loss is a good thing that happened. This Clipper loss is a good thing that happened so we can learn from it. Like I said, we're going to learn from it. We're going to learn from this game and continue to push. We're on a three-game winning streak. Let's make it four on Friday, man. We need to do a great job in the first half. And we need to have a complete game. Because when we have a complete game, we haven't seen the complete game yet. With AD throwing lobs to LeBron. LeBron throwing lobs to AD. We, we haven't seen a team, a great... We saw it tonight with the passes, lobs, dunks. The crowd ch chanting MVP for Anthony Davis. LeBron chanting Taco Tuesday to the crowd. And that's what we need to see from this Laker team on a consistent night. When we have a complete team, Laker Nation, Laker fans out there, listen to me. We can we can be anybody. I don't care if Kawhi and Paul George are teaming up. I don't care if Russell Westbrook. If you put if AD and LeBron have a game where they both have thirty or forty points, it like I know it's just against Memphis. I understand. I get this. I know some fat Laker haters out there are gonna say, "Oh, it was against Memphis. It was against Memphis." Okay, they're NBA players. You can put up forty points against the NBA players. When you put up forty points, that's great for what you do. Anthony Davis played great tonight. LeBron played great. Just love the team effort. And what made me realize that this is a championship contained team, man, just the, the just the resiliency. They weren't playing well in the third quarter around there. Um and then the championship experience and their 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 experience with each other so far as clicking when they time needed to, man. Danny Green coming out deflecting passing lane. Troy Daniels taking charges. It's just it was just a great team effort in the second half, man. And we and we can we're we're a championship containing team, man. Those three four three, four games so far, but I really like what we're doing as a team in A D. A D. He was a he was him and LeBron and the rest of the team around us were the main reason the Lakers won tonight. I really like how we shut down John Morant. Valanciunas, Jonas, or Jared Jackson, we shut him down. And Grayson Allen, we shut him down. And DeLon Booker, we shut him down. So we shut the guys that wanted to shut them down. Jay Crowder had a decent game, 11 points. But first half, he was shooting a three, playing great defense, a decent defense on LeBron. And then second half, we trapped him. We're trapping a lot of our, our big men. We're trapping a lot of the, their point guards, John Morant. And uh, Tyrus Jones, you you, you know Ty Tyrus Jones, you know we were trapping him. They were turning the ball over, and we would get out in transition. And when we get in transition, Dan Green would hit the three. Quinn Cook would hit the three. You know what I mean? Um, Avery Bradley played great defense on John Morant in the second half because John Morant scored thirty points against Kyrie. And then this game, he started. He was trying to get going, but the Lakers swarming defense and double teaming helped. And Dwight Howard once again impacted the game. Man, His defense. His hustle, his grit, his grind, deflecting the passing lane, just diving for loose balls, blocking shots, getting the crowd going. That's what we need from Dwight every game. If we can have that consistency and hustle, energy, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be something to see, man. I'm really, really excited how we've been playing. Really like how we've been playing. Just, just I love what we're doing right now as a team. Frank Vogel is doing a great job, and the coaching staff is doing a great job so far. Frank Vogel is doing a great job. Lionel Hollins, Jason Kidd, everybody on the staff. Is doing a great job getting the players to play to the potential and play for for 48 minutes. You know what I mean? 
love what the coaching is putting in the play, putting in the putting in the right schemes and sets and stuff because this team right here has a chance to do something special. And I could feel something special coming this year. I could just feel it with the way that we've been playing. I know it. The, well, with the way the Lakers have been playing, man, it's something to see. It's something to see, man. Really looking forward to it. But I'm going to end this Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast show. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Big Baby Jonathan underscore. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast show. And when you do subscribe, leave a like, share it, turn on the post notifications. And if you want to hear great Laker knowledge, welcome to the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast show. Follow me on Twitter, Big Baby Jonathan. And until then, everybody, have a great night. Peace out. Go Lakers, baby. Woo!